I get a lot of questions about how I travel and set my SUV and my trailer up when I'm hitting the road while I just loaded up for the 2017 Yak Attack tournament back home in Virginia. Let's take a look and uh, see what all is in the truck and how the trailer is set up. So Lyle and I are getting ready to hit the road and head down to Farmville, Virginia to the Yak Attack tournament. I go down there every year. It's probably one of my favorite tournaments to go to. This is my 2007 Honda Pilot. I bought this thing so I could do a lot of car camping in it. As you see here, just how I have it set up to make this road trip. Uh, some of the things I have, have the GPS set up. Here is how I actually film my uh, uh, road trip videos. And then in the back, I've got the rods set up here above the uh, above the heads. So let's take a look around the back. Back here, it's about six feet from the uh, back of the seats. There's three rows here, so I put that down down uh, both the back rows, and I can lay out perfectly here. Uh, the other equipment here that I have got some uh, storage bin here for water, for showers, and some extra emergency water and so forth. I uh, got my uh, white crate here from Yak Attack with a bunch of spare uh, rod holders and all sorts of stuff in it. Got my cooler, a couple of lightweight sleeping bags, another look at the rod holder up above. Um, got a whole bunch of different things, including over here a little compact stool uh, and a Lucy lamp. And then I can click different things around here uh, with uh, carabiners. I actually also down here, you can see I have a, uh, a really large white sheet. I can take those and attach it with large binder clips to the handles on the side and then drape it over the seats and basically totally enclose myself in almost like a camper uh, and like a tent. And on the side here, I can lower the windows down. I have the uh, vent shades on it on the front and the back that uh, unfortunately you still might get mosquitoes in, but it'll keep the rain out of the car. Gives you some nice ventilation. Up top, I've got my, my crossbars and as you know, my favorite type of kayak racks, Malone Sea Wings, and I also have a Stinger on one set of them. On the bar over here, I have the Thule telescoping bar, so I can, you know, load it a little bit easier as a load assist bar. And from the previous videos you've seen, I've got my PVC rod tube over there. I actually keep my uh, Yak Attack stakeout poles in that. So we come back here, really handy device I did one of the videos on, is a uh, trailer hitch step. That way it makes it a little bit easier. You can step there and then up onto the, uh, the uh, bumper and I can tie things onto the roof a little bit easier. I've added a jack stand here. The uh, little, you know, little jack here for the trailer. I've got a box I've got bolted down. And then here, you seen, haven't seen the previous videos, take a look back at them. This is a tractor supply utility trailer. It's a, uh, I believe a four by six. And what I did was extend the tongue on it so that I can carry boats and kayaks and canoes on it without banging into the tailgate of the truck. And then I've even added a spare tire. I bolted down my, uh, one of my uh, carts. And then you see my daughter's Ocean Kayak Trident 11 and my Predator 13. So this is it in a nutshell. I can really pack a lot of stuff into this rig here and live out of it for say a week or so on end. But I just thought I'd show it a little bit. 2007 Honda Pilot, you can sleep in it. It's got three rows, put the seats down. Got extra water, cooler, all sorts of stuff. And then the uh, trailer here from Tractor Supply. And I've done a little bit of retrofitting too. So I just thought since I was hitting the road and loaded up, I'd uh, show you guys how I do a little bit of traveling. Thanks for watching. As always, we ask you to be sure to subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and we'll catch you on the water. FishYacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.